Waza is one of the best SIM and XDR application which is open source and freely available for you to use. Let me show you how we can get started. Here is Waza website. So we'll simply go here to the documentation of the Waza. So here if I go to installation guide and in installation guide you can look for the installation alternatives and in installation alternatives pre-built virtual machine OVA we can click on download virtual appliance or OVA 2.6 GB is the size of this. So what it will have it will have the Amazon Linux, it will have the Waza manager, Waza indexer, Filebeat OSS and Waza dashboard. This all is pre-installed here and virtualization platforms such as VirtualBox should be installed on the host system. As I'm using Proxmox and we'll see how we can import OVA file into Proxmox. So Waza VM is configured on 4 core CPU, 8 GB RAM and storage is 50 GB. I have provided you a complete guide here on SyncBricks. You can search for OVA. This is step by step guide here which will help you how to import. So we'll follow this guide step by step so if you have any other platform where you want to install it maybe you can skip the installation process but if you are interested to learn how to install in proxmox then you can continue to this video okay so waza.ova is downloaded which is open virtual appliance so its name was waza.4.6.3 with the version number but i have just renamed it and now its name is waza.ova First of all, I need to upload waza.ova to Proxmox virtual environment. So how we'll do it? I will simply open WinSCP. WinSCP is a file transfer software which is available for free. You can download it and you can connect with your Proxmox virtual environment. I will open the new site here. Simply choose from here SCP and here the host name will be my Proxmox virtual environment or proxmox node this is my proxmox node pve3 where i'll be creating the virtual machine here its ip address is 192.168.240.4 so i'll be giving the ip address here 192.168.240.4 provide the user id and password here you can see left side is my local system and on right side you can see i'm in root folder here this has all the folders but we'll be simply going here to var and inside var there is a folder called lib and inside lib there is a folder called vz so by default these are all the dumps images private snippets and templates these are all created here so we will not touch any of the folders we will create our new folder here by clicking on file new and directory and we'll give it a name any name can be given so i will give ova import which is open virtual appliance for import i will simply click here here is my ova import folder and i'll simply upload this waza.ova to the proxmox virtual environment i'm on wi-fi right now so it might take longer waza.ova has been upload it to the proxmox i can simply close win scp i don't need to do anything right now here so here in pve3 i need to now create a virtual machine first so if you see here in open virtual appliance the requirement was 4 core cpu 8 gb of ram and 50 gb of storage so what we'll do here i'll click here on create vm so vm id can be anything waza will be the vm name os now we will not be installing any OS here. It is just a machine that we'll be creating. Next system, I'll keep default disk. I will delete it. I will not be creating any disk right now. And CPU, as you know, we need four cores of CPU. So I'll create four cores here. And we need 8 GB of RAM. So I'll be giving 8 GB of RAM in the memory section. So in megabytes, it will be 8192, 8 GB of RAM. And then network, I will use VMBR1, which is my internal network for internal machines. Click next and confirm. All right, so our machine is now ready. What we'll do here, we'll go to the shell of the Proxmox node. 
I can either open it from here directly or I can use the SSH terminal or any SSH client, but I'll be doing all the commands here directly into PVE shell. First of all, I'll open that folder where I uploaded the file. So it was CD space VAR, LIB and VZ. So this folder has the folder that we created or the directory that we created it was OVA import. So I'll do CD space OVA dash import. Now inside this we have vaza.ova. Vaza.ova is in fact a compressed file. It has disk also and it has the information about the virtual appliance also. So first of all we'll be extracting this and how we'll do extract we'll do tar which is to extract the file. XVF will be using the option here and the name will be vaza.ova. Now if I see the list of files again vaza.ova is definitely there but you can see here vaza 4.7 disk is also there this is vmdk this is in fact the ovf it will create the vm so as we have already created the vm we have already used the information from the website that four core cpu should be there 8 gb ram should be there and 50 gb disk should be there so 50 gb disk will be created now but we created the vm with four core cpu 8 gb ram now what we are going to do here, we are going to import this disk to Vaza 117. Here if you go to hardware and if you see here there is no hard disk right now. Even you can remove all the extra hardware from here. For example CD is there. I don't need any CD right now and these all devices are fine. So disk is not there. If you notice there is no disk. We'll go back here to shell. We'll be opening the same OVA-import. So what I'll do, I'll import the disk into virtual machine. My virtual machine is 117. This disk which I'm going to import is Vaza VMDK. So how to import that? I will use QM import disk command. So QM is quick emulator which is used for the virtual machines. Import disk means of course import disk. And where I want to import the disk, 117 is my virtual machine where I want to import. And then what is the disk that I'm going to import? And this is my disk here. Copy and I'll paste it here. And where I'm going to import this disk? Of course, I might have multiple storage in Proxmox node. These three storages are available here. TrueNAS is also there. Google Drive is also there. But I want to import this into local LVM. I'm also using Ceph as virtual disk. But here in this case, I'll be importing it into the local LVM. So here I'll mention the path local dash LVM. And now important part here is the format of the disk because here this is vmdk my local lvm doesn't support vmdk it supports right now raw or qc or w2 in your case it could be anything but in my case it is raw i will be changing the format from vmdk to raw for which i'll be typing command format and its format will be raw even if you don't type anything it will choose the default format that is supported by your proxmox so i'll type format and raw Press enter. Now it will start importing the disk. So we'll wait for this process to complete. Disk has successfully imported as unused 0 into local LVM 117. So disk has already been imported, but it has not yet been attached. So if you go back here to Vaza now, you will see here that there is one disk unused LVM 117. So this is the disk here which we need to now attach to the Vaza. If you right now start, of course, this will not work. So I'll double click this and here I'll just simply click add. Once you add, now the hard disk has been attached here to Vaza VM. And in order to make sure that it boots from this hard disk, so what we'll do, we'll go here to options of this VM and we'll click on boot order right now you can see that boot is disabled from this vm so we'll enable here and we'll disable the net boot we don't want boot from network and simply press ok and now we can just click on start and the vm will start now we'll go here to console here you can see proxmox is starting now vaza the open source security platform has been installed it will boot the kernel now. Here you can see 
that default user for Vaza is Vaza dash user. So it is Vaza dash user and password is Vaza. Now I'm logged in. I can do various operations here if I want. Otherwise, I need to open the web UI. So how we'll do the web UI? If I type in IP ADDR, you can see here, this is the IP address 192.168.240.131. I'll be now able to access using the web browser with the HTTPS port, HTTPS 192.168.240.131. Proceed to this. That's it. Waza has been installed. I'll be entering the user ID, admin and password admin and login here. It has automatically installed everything. That's it. So you can see security information management, auditing and policy monitoring, threat detection and response. And here is regulatory compliance, whether it is HIPAA, GDPR or NIST or PCI DSS. So all of the regulatory compliances, dashboards or reports will be available here. Security configuration and assessment, total agents, active agents, disconnected agents, pending agents and so on. I will first of all go and change the IP address of Waza. So here, if I try to access using PuTTY also, it will be 192.168.240.131 and the user is Waza-user, password is Waza. So as this is Amazon Linux 2, I can check the version of this. It will be cat slash etc slash os dash release. So it will show me that the ID is AMC Amazon. It is CentOS RHL Fedora version 2 and its pretty name is Amazon Linux 2. So this is the Linux version that we are using. And in case you want to check the host name, check host name CTL. It will give you the host name, which is Waza server. These are the details. So I'll change the network configuration here by going into CD space etc and sysconfig. Here is the configuration which is available. You can see here network scripts. Here again, I'll go to CD space network scripts. And in network scripts, you will find the file called ifcfg-eth0. I need to edit this file in fact. So I'll do sudo nano and this will be if config eth0 and here you can see boot type is dhcp instead of dhcp i will choose static here and type is of course ethernet i will go here it will be ip address ip addr is equal to 192.168.240.7 and down here i'll be typing net mask it will be equal to 255.255.255.0 and then will be the gateway which will be 192.168.240.1 so this is my settings so ip address net mask or this is net mask and exit this yes ip address is now changed i will restart the network now it is sudo systemctl restart the service name is network dot service of course it will now give the static ip here i'll be just simply going here to putty again i will open this 192.168.240.7 here i can now access this waza dash user and here waza that's it so now our ip address has been changed i can now access this using the new ip address let me see if i can ping all right so dns is also working I can exit this server now and I'll go back here, try to access Waza, of course, with the old IP, it won't work now. I need to access the Waza with the IP address 192.168.240.7. User ID is admin, password is admin, and voila. You are here logged into Waza, which is the open source security management and auditing software. Let's continue to the next video and we'll see how we can start installing the agents and how we can start using Waza for security information management and auditing and policy monitoring and so on.